Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, friends, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate NAS Edition. This is episode 4, and I'm going to resume where I left last time, which is basically in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we were exploring one of the first areas that you encountered just south of. Uh, the friendly Armin. Hmm? Last time we met a new friend, Ayantis. And uh, yeah, we're doing fine. Jahira just leveled up. And uh, we're doing pretty good. And so I want, I'd like to ex fully explore this area, um, this uh, map, before moving ahead. Last time we encountered an ogre. Ogres are very bad business. And we had to rely on some unconventional tactics to um to best it. Oh Zvart. Zvarts are um uh, I think they're the goblins of uh, the Sword Coast. Uh, I have no other way to describe them. Uh, they're a nuisance, but they can be in large numbers. So, let me repose it. Okay, it's already coming after me, so let's ready our wrenched weapons. Perfect. Fantastic. Ranged weapons for the win, at least in the beginning. Oh, wait till we get to the Knoll Fortress. Oh, a short sword, finally. Uh, so, um, Imoen is going to have a proper way. It's not highlighted for Imoen. Hmm, very strange. Hmm? was alighted for Agentis, but I don't think I, Ayantis, so excuse me. me. I don't think he has... Um, no. Totally lacks yes, the... It will be done. The proficiency. So, yeah, don't trust the uh, user interface. Oh, there's a caravan. Uh, let's see if... Um, was a family. That's bad. Let's see if the bandits or wood raiders are still nearby. Oh, it was a guard. This looks like a guard. And we're still bastard. Well, they, they left the valuables here. That's interesting. They weren't um, real raiders then. Uh, we have a small shield, which I'm going to leave there, and a Bassar sword. I think we already have a couple of those, and only only Yantis can use them. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to um, also probably we should stack all oh, the broken weapon. Remember, I told you something about um. Khalid breaking breaking his weapon. Uh, yeah, probably we should have Blackhawk carrying the bloody sculpts. And uh, okay, um, now if only I, I I remember what I was. Oh yeah, uh, another thing. Uh, so you cannot uh, if you cannot identify magical items. Okay. Can identify using a scroll spell. We don't have anything like that. Um, you can wear it. Okay. You can check what happens. So, as you can see, uh, my AC gets lowered by one and says bring minus one. So, 
it's confirmed my suspicion that this is indeed a ring of protection plus one however bear in mind that if you equip a, a cursed item it won't be you won't be able to remove uh, some cursed items are uh, just a nuisance but others are uh, can be troubles troublesome that can lower your stats or, or worse okay um i think i'm going to wear it right now just to announce uh, my and by me i see i mean vaclav uh vaclav's um role as a tank okay otherwise my second charge would be would be khalid uh so that we can have both at ac0 which for this stage of the game is I awesome ready. okay we can move on let's check the map yeah we not a problem we are mostly mostly done okay let me check if there's four no that's large food but you already you already knew about that oh more swords okay you have so. need of me Let's everyone equip their ranged weapons. Yeah, they're not a problem. They can be a problem in numbers, but as you can see, I don't think they they're wearing any armor, so eating them is absolutely not a problem. Not interested in having a second a short sword. This I don't think Iman is going to to go in, in in melee combat anytime soon um r thieves i was about to call them rogues uh thieves can be devastating in melee combat if they can hide and uh a backstab yeah i knew it Ayanti is without shield is wearing just a, a lousy chainmail. Okay. Okay. Maybe. What you want? Maybe we're done for now. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Let's see coins. Not a problem. I'll say no to those. We don't remember that, that there's that I don't know the caravan that got attacked. So it had to be these farts attacking. Mm. Some coins. The members of this caravan met a violent death. While there is no evidence that suggested you would surmise the bandits must be responsible. Okay, nothing. Oh there's a kid. Hello, kid. Oh, one good thing My about Ayant is, is um, he has, since he's Paladin, he has some um, abilities, skills that can be used um, a certain amount of times in the day. Um, he can cast protection from evil and uh, uh, detect evil. Detect evil, we're going to use it. Um, Okay, there. Well, let's see. Jays. You funny looking. Don't you be getting any closer, or I'll have mom come and give you the belt. Wow. <laughs> um. Um. Relax, kid. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, sure, that's what the other group of bandits said. And then they went and attacked the caravan and just so leave. They were a bunch of liars, probably just like you. Get lost. Wow. Okay. <sighs> and uh, you, sir? Hey. Mustache to Baragos, I must. Governor of Keldoth must be told of the extra troops being sent his way. Argos is to be garrisoned in case of M, M attack, though M has denied such intent. Of course they will deny it, the snakes. Make way for the messenger. 
Okay, so this is just an encounter to let you know that it's, there's tension between Baldur's Gate and M. Um, and uh, especially between um, Baragost and Nashkel, there's stuff happening. Okay, we unlocked Baragost. Good. Uh, let's see if uh, there's anything. Yeah, there is something still that we still haven't checked. We should do so right away. Baragos to the south. Yeah, that's where we're going. A bandit. Okay. Oh, more than one bandit. Okay. Just two. Hmm. Yeah, apparently. Okay, arrows, which are always good. Another scalp. I'll take everything. I I'll take the short bow and I'll sell it. Still, if I'm going if I'm selling the the ring of wizardry or whatever that we found. Money won't be an issue for a while. Okay, nothing here. We could actually go... Oh no, it's actually not... Oh yeah, we could. We could back, go back and and uh, uh, search this zone again, but... Not a problem. Uh, I'll think about it. All right. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I could quick save and see if there's anything. Uh, there might be wolves, which is not a big deal. Quick save successful. Okay. Just I don't want to uh, waste time. I don't know how many hours it's going to take. Let's see. Uh, eight hours. Good me. Okay. Well, there's not much left to be explored, to be honest. Okay. It will be done. Probably we should check. We should check the the top, the north border, and see if we can discover any more um, areas, maps that you can you can. Uh, uh, that we can get to. Let's see. Nope. Weird. Maybe it's it's not time yet. Ah, oh, this is Keeperlings. Probably there are more of them. Yes. Stop the music. Battle's over. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's strange nobody is um, whinging and whining about uh, being tired and I think we've been up and traveling for more than a day now. I don't think I see anything. Okay, and we reached the, the cliffs where we met the Snotty Noble, who, I don't know, was contemplating the sea, maybe. <laughs> Julie didn't look like um, he was trying to get himself killed. Okay. Yes, we've been here, and yeah, there's still Gorion's corpse. We should probably... Since we're here, um, dig a grave or something like that, but the game is not built for that in mind. A wolf, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on, guys. 
Anyone scored a critical hit? Okay, one thing that I wanted. Uh, you see this seagull that is traveling, okay? You can actually over... Ah, uh, no. Okay. Some birds, uh, they, oh, maybe they, they changed it in the last edition, but I remember in the, in the original version, when a bird was uh, flying by, you could over over it with your with the mouse cursor and it would tell you that it was a seagull or something like that. Come on guys, it's near dead. Okay, good. Okay, Jahira, you shouldn't be tanking though. You should you should be be you know in the back. Okay, sorry, I wanted to press um okay since we're here I want to Explore the area fully. Okay, doesn't look like. Um, and Gibberlings. Okay, more Gibberlings. No. Okay, map, and let's get here. Another wolf. Okay. Um, you know what? Ready. I'm I'm going to be brave, and I'm going to face it in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat and shield my companions. Okay. This is this is how it's done. Okay. Or at least this is according to my plans. Lots of birds. This I I really ah uh, the screeching birds of prey. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I think yeah, we explored pretty much everything. Uh, okay, let's exit. Let's leave uh, this way. So let's talk uh, party members. Um, there are... This is kind of what I have in mind as a as a, as, as, as my party. Um, I think I was, we, uh, I was switching Khalid and Jahira later. Um, but we really need Jahira's healing spells for now. What do you need? Okay. Need directions? You see my friendly sword, so I thought I'd offer my services as a guide. What do you need to uh, what do you need from the town of Bergost? Hmm. Certainly. If you could direct me to an affordable inn, I would much appreciate. I'm looking for a bit of luxury. What's the nicest in town? I need some well made weapons and armor. Do you have a good smithy? Just play to sit a spell and drown my worries. Where is good tavern? I want the best inn in town. The finest inn would have to be Faldepost, though it's also quite friendly. Um, lots of local color. Faldepost's inn is in the lowest west side of the town. What about an affordable one? We have many inns for the frugal adventurer. The red chief has basic rooms, though the clientele is a touch rowdy. Also, the Burning Wizard and the Jovial Juggler, which also have finer suits. The Red Chief is near the center of town, as is the Burning Wizard. The Jovial Juggler is a bit further along and sits on the southern edge of the city. What about the good smithy? We have the best smith in all the realms. Tayron Thunderhammer Fuirung runs the Thunderhammer Smithy in the eastern side of town. Um, he has a few exceptional items as well, though you could also check Feldepost in. They carry trophy items, though you had best to be rich as kings. But the post is in, in the west, closer to the south edge of town. And what about a tavern? A drop or two to use your spirits? The burning wizard, red shift. Okay, okay, okay. Thank for your help. 
So uh, remember the juggler juggler because uh, the um, house, uh, the, the spider ridden house we have to uh, venture in is near the jovial juggler. So um, Bergos is quite the city as it spans essentially um, uh, through uh, the whole map of the area. And there's also uh, a temple area to the east. And with other buildings, though it is quite, it could be dangerous. Okay, so let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see. Oh, to see if there's a, a sign. Okay, there are also um, private buildings, okay, houses and stuff, so uh, I don't want to venture in them. Um, coins and some sacks by the sacks. Sack? Okay, in a sack, in a bag. Okay. Uh, what time is it, by the way? It's three in the morning and there's people outside. Very peculiar. Okay, nothing here. Hello, mate. You, you people must be crazy to travel the, the roads these days. With all the bands about, you gotta be rather foolhardy to leave the safety of town. Um, okay, if you say so. Oh, this looks like a nice building. Okay, so fell the posts in was, I think, to the southwest. Okay, this is the western border. Uh, oh, high edge. Yeah, I remember something high edge. This will be done. Uh, this is strange building. I remember. I remember it being quite dangerous. I think you have to go there for some quest. This is a house. Okay, this looks like a house. Oh, file the posts in. Okay, we found it. So let's I'd say we can quick save. Alright, let's go in. Here now, get out. Okay. I don't like your type in here. Ah, you don't like our type in here. What do you mean? <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Okay. Uh, we we don't want no trouble. We don't want any trouble. Okay. Um. So you're the button. Oh no. Are you talking to me? Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room for you for the troublemaking strangers. Um. No need to get all bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Uh, sorry, I don't want any trouble. I just go my way. I go where I like, pal. You got a problem with that? Uh, you sing one more word and I swear I'll run you through back off. Okay. Mm, I think I remember something about this. This encounter. Um... I have to play my cards right here. Um, uh, okay, this is probably wrong. 
no need to get all uh, all blend out of shape. Um, uh, let's try. I go where I like, pal. You got a problem with that? I have a problem with morons armed to the teeth, poking through ruins and stirring up creatures by the left alone. Jokers like you uh, blow through town with monsters in tow and then out again leaving us locals to clean up the mess. I just do what I think is right. We saw a lot of more problems than we cause. Well, very nearly anyways. <laughs> Whoa, go easy. Let's keep it friendly. How about the buy you and the rest of the bar around? I say that I've uh, about had enough for your to of your toe, mister. Stop pushing or push back. Um, I just do what I think is right. Yeah, I'm going to pick this one. Oh, you think it's funny, do you? You mess up the local economy with your treasure. You upset the balance of nature. You flash your magic around and because of it, maybe somebody's son thinks it's a fun and goes out to get this unskilled. It's a bad example, somebody ought to kick your ass for it. Okay, okay, I think we hit a, mm, a weak spot here. Okay, don't get mad at me, somebody's son couldn't handle being uh, out from under mom's skirt. She uh, should have taught him to fight instead of dirt farming. I'm sorry for you and your king. Look, before this gets out of hand, maybe I should just leave. Hold on, everyone goes their own path and will not be held accountable for what the fates deal. If you think you have what it takes, bring it on. Okay, I'll go with number three. Hold on, everyone goes their own path, not be held accountable, etc, etc. Et okay, this one is probably too much. He was a good boy till you kind came through town. Filled his life with nonsense they did, and because of it he's dead. Now why shouldn't I take that out of your hide? Oh, okay. Uh, look, I'm sorry for your son and all, but I had nothing to do with it. I just want to live peacefully. Because if you were like this at home with him, I would have, be, I would have bolted too. You probably had the reins so tight you nearly choked him to death before anything else could. Okay, this is, might be the right one. If you knew him like you think, then ask yourself if he wouldn't have gone anyway. It's a calling you're born with, nobody gives it to you. Oh, this one is good as well. Um, I'll go with the number three. Taint true, he was going to take over the farm and settle down. Maybe apprentice with Thunderhammer during the winter. Never wanted to adventure. Oh ho ho, Duncan. That was what you wanted, Mar. Fun's fun, but you're blaming these folk for what couldn't be helped. The boy was a far brand if ever there was one. No, he was settling down. He wanted, he wanted. That new plow you bought last year, he got the gold by helping clear Cobalt's new Google's bird. He wanted to make a difference, make the realms a bit safer. Just like these folk, most likely. Why, Chontia, why couldn't he just stay home? Okay, let's see if you can swing it home. The realms call and you go. It sounds a fine lad taken to suit, but doing what he was meant. If you suffer my company, I'll bow around and toss his memory with you. Oh, this is good. If it's alright with the both of you, I would really like to leave now. <laughs> Too many mood rings in the room and I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Probably could have stand all the crying. Girls are finished. This is the mean one if you're playing an evil character. Yes, it's... It's, it's got to be number one. To be fitting, I suppose. To Kenner Nathalene, rest you well. Ah, I will be alone a while. Well, tis the calmest had done seen him in a week. Still, best you move along. Marlene known for his steady moods. <laughs> 900 experience points at 180 each. That's very good. Uh, we solved the encounter in the best way possible. In, it can go very wrong and Stand you uh, start a fight with Mar and it spreads to the entire tavern. You really want to avoid that. Not a problem. Okay, I, I'm going to leave Marl uh, alone for now. Let's talk to Dunkin. Hey, don't 
click me. I don't think my friend Amar likes you. It's probably wise if you left. No, God is sorted. Don't worry. Uh, but bartender, are you Feldpost or it's just the name? I got some cheap beer for Keep you. a low profile if you please. Tempers are short for strangers right now. So what do you want? What do you have to offer? Oh, we can go to a royal room, which cost eight. Uh, it's quite inexpensive, actually. We can afford it. Uh, it truly luxurious experience. And then we click a equally exorbitant price. Beds feel the softest down, draped with the finest Kalimshan silks and linens. Nearly as restful as a week in a lesser room. Though, who but royalty could afford the cost? Well, adventurers, we are loaded with money. Also, I heard about um, the selling items, fun items. Uh, history of the Faithful Coin, I think I already have a. Yeah, we're in the cup. The Protector plus one. It's uh, essentially an amulet of um, protection plus one, plus one armor class saving throws. I don't recall if you can add, uh, if, if they stack, I think they stack. If you if you have um, like um, a ring and a ring of protection and amulet of protection, I think they stack, but uh, the mm, ring of protections, I don't think they can be worn together. No, not, uh, don't quote me on that until I try it all though. It's been a while. So there's a composite long longbow plus one, battle axe plus one, braces of defense AC eight, which is not really uh, enchanted bullets. Um, bullets plus one, chamber plus one, mini shield, minion shield plus one, large shield plus one. Probably are good. Um, reflected image. These spells, that's interesting, okay. We, I might want to check this Mithy as well, though. Okay. Uh, I think I spotted a couple of named NPCs that we could... Oh, Gillian. Do you mind? Oh, hello! You must uh, join me for a while, I insist. Um... When a lady offers me a drink, who can I ref how can I refuse? Oh, you do seem to be enjoying yourself. Yes. I do enjoy my daily tipple, I do. Eek. Is it time for scones yet? Okay, this is probably a reference to something. Hefis? 99 tankards of ale on the wall. 99 tankards of ale. Take one down and pass it around. 98 tankards of ale on the wall. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Okay. I I have a crawling sensation in the back of my skull that we are about to have troubles. Okay, I don't see anybody here. This is empty. Oh, Algernon. I remember Algernon. Okay. Um, well, since we're about to rest, um, when you rest, you replenish your spells and skills. Let's use uh, Detect Evil. Okay. Uh, nobody's evil. Uh, Algernon is not evil. It will be done. What you want? This is my room. I don't want visitors. Now leave me alone. Now, why Algernon is so important? Because he he carries with him an item, um, a cloak, a very special cloak. Uh, later in the game, you are asked to recover it, and the only way is either to kill him or to um, uh, to to uh, pickpocket. Uh, to pickpocket him. Uh, I do have a, a Viv with me, Imoen, but she's not a great pickpocketer. Um, one trick is to find, there's a, there are potions that enhance uh, Viv skills, and uh, so you drink one or, or more, and then you try to, to 
uh, pick his pockets and get the item. Oh, there's a traveler. Hey, get out Plenty of all the rooms for you, if you please. Paid for mine in full and don't feel I should need to double up, as it were. Okay. Okay, nobody here. Really? Okay, there's a nice wardrobe. Is the wardrobe empty? It is. Okay. No. I'm... False alarm, then. This is not the place I, I thought. Well, all, all the... Well, not all, but... Taverns and places like this tend to look like one another. Okay, I think we could rest. So we're going. To, I'm going to talk to the bartender. Oh wait, hang on. Anybody here? The cook. The cook yes. must have done it. Hey, you stays out of my kitchen. You'll mess up my art. Someday I's gonna cook for the Luke Duke himself. Betcha there's less fist fights in the palace. So you can enjoy a meal from start to finish. No. Um, all right. You bartender. Yeah. Okay, a royal, thank you. Let's sleep. Okay, we're done. We recover some of the HP lost, and uh, you, you, you don't get fully healed by resting. Um, I think it's a uh, certain amount, uh, cert uh, a number of hit points per character level or something like that. Okay, so I guess we're done here. We can explore the rest of Baragos now. It will be done. Also, it's day. It's actually midday, I think. Yeah, it is. Baragos, sure. Is a tongue crier. What does the tongue crier say? By order of his most radiant of Lathander, Keldath Ormlir, governor of Baragost, and the best interest of its people, forthwith there be a bounty placed upon the head of the mad cleric Basilus for the crimes against nature that he has committed. Anyone bringing proof of his demise to the song of the morning temple shall receive no less than 5,000 gold. Hear ye, hear ye. Okay, there's another, there's another quest that you can get. Okay, there's a mad cleric, an evil mad cleric nearby that is, um, I can already tell you, he's resurrecting undead skeletons and stuff like that. And um, Governor Baragos, who's actually a cleric of La Thunder, obviously wants him um, out of commission. We'd be glad to oblige. Okay, um This is Garrick. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Garrick is a horrible NPC, I can already tell you that. Uh, actually I'm using his his portrait. <laughs> Uh, yes, we, uh, I think Bakla would, would make more sense using this uh, plate armor and nice guy instead of the dreamy uh, scoundrel, but it is what it is. Okay, so he has a proposal for us. Uh, I have heard that you were an excellent group of warriors. How would you like a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Um, okay. Well, money is good. We can, we need better equipment, right? So we're always on the lookout for money. Tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silk Rosena. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sur Coast. In fact, she's to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thieves have been hired by Feldepos to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. What with a, um, what with a f villain like Feldepos running the place? 
She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? Okay, that sounds fair. Why don't you show us this mistress of yours? I think you've made a good decision. That just means you're south of the Red Shift Inn. I'm going to save, okay? Mmm, <laughs> you know something. Yes, I do. I've played this game before. <laughs> okay, um... Yep. This way. So, um, when I casually get around this lady, because we need to protect her, of course, right? Don't mind us. Okay. I stand ready with ease. Yes, sir. This is my mistress, Miss Silke Rosena. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Thespian Extraordinaire. Okay. That's it. Hmm? Yeah, I have to talk to her. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Thespian Extraordinaire. Exactly what I said, huh? <laughs> So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find. Guess they'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained that your, uh, what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic, mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Here they are now. Felt the post talks. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you've asked, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. Uh, what are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up. There'll be no whistling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. Okay. It's pretty clear at this point that things are not like the sea. Uh, like the sea. And uh, we've been duped. Okay. <laughs> Okay, stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. How are deal is off? In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Okay. So, just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm having Ayantis cast um, Detect Evil. Okay. Yes? And yeah, we're going to hit this silky very hard. Okay. I care not. Can I help you? You're a queer fellow. Also, I'm going to use the wand of magic missiles. Yeah. Did you see that? She's flashing red, and. You see the uh, Ayantes cast Detect Evil, okay, and Silke is evil. Okay, so we did the right thing. She was the one that needed to go down. Well, she's not down yet, but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Yes, good job, Ayantes. 900 experience. Isn't that good? This is the great, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I stand ready. Okay, yeah, that can catch you off guard the first time you do it, but uh. all right. So, Garrick, Silk is dead. I got Shady coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? No problem. There's, there's, a, there's an empty spot. 
Okay, so, okay, obviously this is going to be awkward. <laughs> because, um, I might switch... Um, probably it's too late now uh, to switch um, Carter Portrait. Okay, it's too... But Garrick is not going to, to, um, to stay with us for long, okay? So he's a bard. Bards can actually cast spells not right away. I think they have to be they have to be to reach level two, three, or maybe four. Okay. And uh, at the same time, however, they like these so they can use um uh light armor. Okay. He's wearing a a leather armor. So he's uh is okay. He has 16 dexterity, uh, and that's it, and good charisma. Now, the reason why you take a bard with you, as I said, is um, number one, the lore skill to identify things, but it, it's a skill that goes up with, with leveling, so right now his level one is not going to be a uh, great help. The other thing is uh, the bard song, which um, Bolt bolsters the party's skills, okay? Uh, so we're going to, to keep him um, to keep him for a while, but uh, probably we're going to dump him before leaving Baragost. Now, after all being said and done, we should probably it will be done. see what um, Silky was carrying. She had a potion of vulnerability. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm carrying too much stuff. Okay, uh, there's a magic quarter stuff. I don't think can identify. No. Uh, this, however, is a quarter stuff. Is enchanted quarter. Stuff. Uh, I think it's plus one. Okay. So right now, the only <sighs> Carter proficient in in quarter staves is uh, Jahira. However, she's she's specialized in. Uh, in clubs, so um, if I remember correctly, she specialized in clubs and yeah, proficient in, in quarter stuff. So it's not really, but okay, we we keep it. And the other thing is the uh, where is it? The potion of vulnerability, which is very good. We're going to need yes. it. Okay, um, what about you three? What what happened? Hello there. We thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of appreciation. A potion of defense, which is very good as well. Okay, so this is um, the fire something. This is another... Oh, actually... Before that, let's check this mythy. Let's check this barrel too. Okay. Oh, coins. See? Oh, Thunder Hammer's mythy. Abergos is small, yet I'm a very good at, get, at getting lost. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? Can you show what you have for sale? Oh, so there are some uh, throwing axes plus one, a mace plus one, now composite longbow, a short bow plus one. This could be good for him when dagger plus one. Don't think there's anybody who can use daggers. Throwing dagger, darts, darts plus one. Sling, sling plus one. This could be good as well. 
uh, quarter staff plus one. Okay, so if you check the quarter staff we're carrying, you can see it's the same one. Okay, and uh, so it should be a quarter staff plus one. Okay, uh, actually has, has two, but are so long sword. A long sword plus one would be good. A sharp sword plus one, but Imoen is not uh, taking part in melee combat. Arrows of Ice, they deal extra ice damage. Arrows of Biting, they are very good. Um, basically, they apply poison. Okay, uh, There are some enemies that are vulnerable to these. And uh, I think there's a certain type of golem. Flash golem, maybe? Okay, bullets, uh, helmet. A leather armor plus one. Well, leather armor is not great anyway. Medium shield plus one, large shield plus one. Oh, a full plate armor, 9,000. Uh, full plate armor is one of the best armor in the game. It has an armor class of one. Requires 15 strength. That's why my backup starting strength is 15. And um, it's extremely heavy, though. Uh, so, for instance, Vaclav could just, I think, uh, carry a couple weapons and a shield uh, along this, this armor. Okay. Oh, Shadow Armor plus three. This is a very good um, stud, le stud leather armor. And gives a bonus to hiding shadows. And it is very good. Ah, uh, the army side this, this is great. This is a crossbow. Uh, it's a light crossbow speed. It um, it's a crossbow plus one that um, gives an extra attack per round. Also, the dagger of venom um, is very good. Also, these kind of um, damage of overtime effect it actually staggers the enemies. Okay, because every time they get hit, they have the staggering animation playing. So, and uh, they're good for both defense and offense. But everything is extremely, extremely expensive. Now there are a few ways you can get around this. Um, you can increase your reputation. You can also increase your your charisma using spells, usually or potions. Okay. So everything is quite expensive. Um, the Smith. Okay. Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? No need to trouble yourself. I'm just browsing about your smithy. I've heard much about it. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You can expect nothing but the best in service from the Thunder Emery Smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tamron himself. Okay. All right. Well, having said that, I think it's time to wrap this episode up. Um, next time, we'll check the, the rest of the city. Also, um, it could be wise to investigate that bounty. It's 5,000 coins, it's a lot of money. And um, also the cleric in question has some uh, good items. Okay, I think he, is, he has a very good weapon. I don't know if it's a, it's a warhammer or a mace, but something we, we might want to get. But yeah, I suppose we're going to do that next time. So many people. And Garrick is going to hang out with us until we leave Baragost. Don't think it's um, it's going to be of any help. Uh, so I'm going to save. This was episode four, and that's it. So. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series um, and uh, please let me know if you have any uh, 
uh, questions if you just mm, or if you have any comments or stuff like that and I'll see you again next time until then take care and goodbye